Semanani, hello everybody. Happy Thursday. I hope you're all well. I just want to go straight into it. Um, mental health, guys. Mental health. Mental health is so important. In fact, positive mental health is so important. What do I mean? We are but um, a sad generation with happy pictures. Yes, what do I mean? We are a sad generation. We are unhappy within ourselves. We are unhappy within our homes. We are unhappy uh, within our communities. We are unhappy within. But we post pictures of contradicting how we feel inside. Um, we post pictures of us making it. We post pictures of us um, living the best life. We post pictures of us being on top of cloud nine. And yet within ourselves we are dying we are decaying we are completely messed up let's normalize it's the second month of 2022 let's normalize prioritizing our mental health let's normalize prioritizing our inner beings let's normalize visiting therapists Let's normalize going for counseling. Let's normalize going to our local clinics and getting assistance with mental challenges that we might have. Let's normalize living our truth without fearing what other people may say. Let's normalize being the society that says we will not be mindful of what people think of us, of what people say of us, but if it's painful, let us be the society that is able to face it and say it is painful and deal with it. Let us normalize taking time out. We don't always need to be in every party. You don't always need to be in every funeral. You don't always need to be at every meeting. You don't always need to be at every gathering. Sometimes you need to just love yourself enough to take time out. Yes, take time out from the noise, take time out from the rush of this world and the daily business that's happening. Take time self, take time out to be by yourself. Our local clinics do offer counseling freely. So take time out, go speak to somebody, speak to people close to you. If you feel you cannot trust people close to you, go to your local clinic make an appointment to see a therapist, a counselor, somebody you can speak to offload that which is happening within yourself, that which you feel you are about to explode. So randomly, I'll just be doing videos about mental health because mental health, in fact, positive mental health is what we should strive for at all times. Let us stop pretending. Let us stop living a champagne lifestyle on a beer budget. Let us stop it. Let us stop living a life to please the Joneses. Let us stop living a life to please our neighbors. Let us live lives that make us content. Let us live lives that do not deprive us of sleep. Let us live lives that allow us to sleep well at night without having anxieties and panic attacks. Let us live lives where we are honest enough to say, I am not okay. Let us live lives where we are honest enough to say, I don't have money, so I can't be there. Let's stop pretending because at the end of the day, we are our own worst enemies. You are your own worst enemy. Yes, 
Why do I say this? You are your own worst enemy because you cannot face your truth of your reality and you want to pretend that all is well when indeed within yourself, you are not fine. There is no malice talking. Let us normalize speaking out. Let nothing or no one silence you. Let nobody make you feel that your life is not great. Listen, the fact that you are breathing, the fact that you are living, the fact that you are not dead, that means there is still a chance for you. That means God, the universe, and your ancestors are not done with you. So, prioritize yourself let's prioritize 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 our mental health positive mental health walk away from situations that are toxic walk away from people and things that bring forth anxiety and tension unto you learn to love yourself enough to walk away this month of february I know people are saying it's a month of love. People are saying it's Valentine's Day. It's a month of love for lovers. Yay! Mtagadidi. Month of lovers. Let's pack it. Let it be a month for you to love yourself. Let this month of love, this February, be a month where you decide and prioritize yourself. Let this be a different month of love, this 2022. Instead of buying Valentine gifts for people, trying to impress people because it's Valentine's Day, how about you put yourself first? Spoil yourself. Maybe all you need is to sleep. Maybe all you need is to rest. Maybe all you need is you are fatigued and you need time out. Spoil yourself enough and love yourself enough to prioritize yourself. So this month of love, this Valentine's Day month of love, daddy, introspect, spoil yourself, prioritize yourself. Because if you do not do that for yourself, another mother's child will not do it for you. Trust me. No mother's child will come and say to you, prioritize yourself. No, 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 no. Love yourself enough to prioritize yourself. Take yourself out on a date. When people are sitting in restaurants with husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, loving themselves, take yourself out on a date. Take yourself to McDonald's, buy yourself the ice cream for five rand. You love yourself. Prioritize yourself. Stop wanting to be in the noise. Stop wanting to be with people because you feel lonely. You feel left out. Look, loneliness is a state of mind. Loneliness is a state of mind. And if you are feeling lonely, that means you are not prioritizing your thoughts. You are not prioritizing yourself because it means you have made yourself secondary in your life. Because if you prioritize yourself and you make yourself the main person in your life, loneliness cannot affect you because you know that right now your body needs to sleep. You will sleep right now. Your body wants to cry. You will cry. Right now, your body needs to scream. Look, do not deny your body what it needs to do in terms of emotions. Sometimes we know that our body, our whole being, it's telling us to say, stay away. Don't go to a particular person or don't call a particular person. But we turn to overlook and not listen to that voice that is warning us. Then the next thing you're like, ish. I shouldn't have called this person or ish, I shouldn't have gone to this place, but all the signs were there. So this video is just to say this month of love, which is February, prioritize yourself, love yourself enough to walk away from things people situations that are toxic that drain you love yourself enough to spend time by yourself some of you are afraid to be by yourself some of you are afraid to sit alone in a room because you are afraid to face yourself some of you right now your kids possibly do not have all the necessities for school because why you decided to take the money and spoil friends during December. You decided to look big um, in your own world and now you cannot live up 
to fulfilling that which your children need at school. Stop it. Mtagated. Stop it. Prioritize yourself. Listen. Whether you are invited to places, events, gigs, whatever. Listen, if you are not invited, love yourself enough to stay away. Love yourself enough to know that you are enough by yourself. Love yourself enough to know that I am enough. I, CBC, I do not get bored by myself. I am able to laugh at my own jokes. I do not get bored by myself because I am in the journey and I'm normalizing my own mental health where I'm able to speak to myself and say, Sithlesbisi, today, hi, Sithlesbisi, today you're not okay. And when I go through those days where I feel today I'm not okay, daddy, I sleep. If my body says I'm not okay today, I want to cry, daddy, I do cry. I do because there is no point in living a life to please people out there and yet within yourself you are dying no let us stop i want to address my fellow african or black people please i'm not being xenophobic or i'm not being tribalist but as long as you have the same skin color as me i'm addressing the fellow africans the fellow black people with what i'm about to say let us stop this habit of gathering together to plan and plot to bring other black people down. Let us stop it. Because black people have this disease where if somebody is prospering, we will not gather together to say, hey, let's celebrate this person. They are doing well. Oh, let's celebrate this person. They are achieving one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We will not do that. Instead, we will withdraw from such a person. But if there's a breaking news headline to say, hey, Usi Thespisi was caught um, doing something or something tragic has happened or something bad happened to Thespisi, you know what happens? The first people to gather and discuss and have a party about another black person's downfall, it's a black person. I am addressing this because it's a trend. Why do we have things like black Twitter? Why? Because black people have normalized the sickness, this evil sickness of wanting to pull each other down that is why there's even a black twitter that is where people are ripping each other up to shreds that is where people cannot even celebrate each other but they are good at wanting to amplify people's weaknesses they are good at wanting to amplify and make noise about people's weaknesses make noise about people's mistakes make noise about people's shortcomings yay we are human we are human the fact that i have the privilege to have an audience that listens to me does not make me immune to pain it does not make me immune to making big mistakes it does not make me immune to making big f-ups it doesn't we the black nation the black society we are but a sick society we are sick mentally and within because all we do we have celebration parties over people's down downfalls instead of saying let's gather and pray for this person instead of us saying let's gather and pray for this person we are the first ones to want to have celebration parties to say did you hear so and so they've lost their job did you hear so and so cancel culture has happened and when you look it's black people on black twitter who are there bringing down another black person that just shows that we as a black nation do not love ourselves. Because we as Africans, as black people, if we loved ourselves enough, remember you can't give what you don't have. You cannot give what you don't have. But because we do not love ourselves enough, that is why hurt people hurt people. Mm? So you are hurt within yourself. You are not happy within yourself. So when you hear of someone's mistake, 
or someone's downfall, you are the first one to amplify it because within you, you are filled with hurt. Within you, you are filled with pain. So the only way you think you can heal your pain is to amplify another person's pain and make it bigger than what it is. As I said, why do we have things like black Twitter? Why can't we celebrate people's successes? Why can't it be that when something is said about a fellow black person or an African, because we are all black, we are all Africans, why can't we, when we hear said things about a fellow African, why can't we say, oh, can we gather together and pray for this person? Can we gather together and, and just stand in solitude towards this person to say, we are with you, we feel you, we are there with you? Why can't we do that? Instead, when you see a black person making it, we are the very first ones to say, no, they have a snake. No, they, they're using muti. We, we always have something to add on to things. Instead of just purely saying congratulations, well done, Mdagatedi, well done. We want to add things to make it look like what it's not. Why do we do that as a black society? Why do we do that as a black society? That is why I say everything starts within. So if you don't love yourself within yourself, you are not able to give forth love to the next person. And that means within your home, you are toxic. Because if you don't love yourself within yourself, within your home, you are also being toxic. Normalize, prioritizing, self-love. Just stop this Valentine boyfriend, girlfriend, husband thing. No, this Valentine, this love month, prioritize fixing yourself. Fix your inner self because we are but a sick generation. We are but a sick nation. Because one thing we forget is that our children, they don't necessarily do what we tell them, but they mimic what we do. Our actions speak louder than what we say then you wonder why some of our children, you will say, I've been teaching this child to do A, B, C, D, but they're going contrary. Mommy, daddy, what are your actions that your child is watching you do? So I just needed to just do this short video and say, it would be such a beautiful world if we learned to love ourselves. Love yourself enough to say, you know, when you're filled with love within yourself, there is no way you will deliberately want to inflict pain on another mother's child. There is no way you will want to deliberately say things that are painful to or about another mother's child because you love yourself that much to not want to stain yourself within, to not want to carry people's hurts with you. So I needed to do this short video to say, we are but a very sad generation that posts a lot of happy pictures. And those happy pictures that we post are not the truth of who we are. They are not the reality of what we are behind the scenes. Let's normalize prioritizing ourselves above everything else in this world because one life you have and that life can never ever be replaced when you're gone you are gone so while you still have the breath of life make sure that you live your life by prioritizing yourself, your mental health, making sure that you fill yourself up with so much love so that when you meet the next person, you are able to give forth love and not be the one that amplifies people's weaknesses. Happy Thursday. God loves you. God loves you. The universe loves you. Your ancestors love you. People say to me, why do you say God, universe, and the ancestors? I say because I do not discriminate against anything or anybody because in Guanile Foundation, we assist all nations. Whether you believe in trees, in cows, in monkeys, whatever it is, but if you are afflicted by pain and you need restoration and rehabilitation, we are there to assist. So I'm 
instead of taking money and buying another mother's child chocolates and roses and flowers and, and, and. Mtaka Teddy, sit down and introspect with yourself and say, when was the last time I took time out to be by myself and pamper myself and say to myself, I actually need to be alone or I actually need to go and see a therapist? In our local clinics, there are therapists, there are counselors. Don't take it for granted. Go and sit down and talk. Hambo kala, hambo tulula, inga so that you can get help. The only time you can get help is if you start talking. Your voice is valid. Let nobody, let nobody dim your light. Let nobody tell you that what you're saying is not truthful or it's not good enough. He who knows it feels it. Happy Thursday. God loves you. And share this video. Share this video. Share this video. Share this video. We need to change in here and in here as a black nation, as an African nation. We need to change. We need to change. Let it not be that you are celebrating and clapping hands when people are pulling down another African brother or sister. Let it not be you who is celebrating. Instead, let it be you who says, let's pray. Let's pray. Let it be you who says, no man, how, what can I do to better her situation? Or what can I do to better his situation? Positive mental health is what is needed. Positive mental health is what we must strive for. Let it not be that when people are gathering together to plan someone's downfall, you are within that crowd. You are the chief negotiator or the chief connector on saying, I know which buttons to press. Woe unto you, Mdagadid. Woe unto you. Those with ears, let them hear. Those with ears, let them hear the truth. I need it. I will be doing random videos. Speaking mainly about mental health. Guys, mental health. We are a sick society. We are not okay here. Because if we were okay here, we wouldn't find it okay to go on black Twitter or whatever black whatever to bring another black African person down. And as I said, I'm not being racist. I'm not being tribalist. But this is an issue that I needed to address with people of my skin color. Because that's where the rot lies. That's where the rot lies. We need to fix ourselves. Our government, things are not going right. You know why? Because we are sick within ourselves. If we can fix ourselves within ourselves, we will be able to give forth positiveness. We will be able to give forth love. We will be able to mend things back together peacefully. But because we are hurt, Hurt people hurt people. So when you are hurt, you want to inflict pain on another. Take time out, Mdara Dedi. If it means you need to take time out and go see a therapist, go and see a therapist, Mdara Dedi. Take time out, Mdara Dedi. Go see a therapist, go for counseling. Take time out, Mdara Dedi. If it means you just need time out to sit at home and sleep, sleep, Mdara Dedi. If it means you need to cry, cry, Mdara Dedi. Stop pretending that you are okay when you are not. Stop living a champagne lifestyle on a beer budget because you want to impress people outside. Mdara Dedi, stop it. Stop it. You can't give what you don't have. So if you are hurt and you are toxic within, you are giving forth hurt and toxicness outside. But if you love yourself enough or you are normalizing it and you are in a journey of finding yourself to love yourself that much, there is no way that you will be the one to inflict pain on another mother's child. We are but a very sad generation that continues to post happy pictures. Happy pictures. So that when people look at us on Instagram or any social platform, they think, ooh, she's making it. Ooh, he's making it. Oh, did you see that? No, Mdagatedi. Stop it. Take time out and face yourself. Face 
yourself and accept your reality. Stop living a champagne lifestyle on a beer budget. Face yourself and accept that you are not okay. Go to your therapist. Our clinics offer free counseling. There are counselors, there are therapists. Seek help. Positive mental health is what we need to strive for. As it's a month of love, Valentine's month, lovey, lovey month. Hey, make it your own lovey, lovey month. Make it your own Valentine shine, shine month by prioritizing your mental health, by prioritizing and loving yourself enough to walk away from toxic situations. Those with ears, they, they have heard. Bye.